Dear God. Dear God, I know the excuses to see you, well, they're not really far or few between, but look, I've got a question for you. Like, do you remember when I was little and I used to put as many socks as I possibly could on both of my feet so that way my mother wouldn't notice that you were up with me and we would dance together? You know, like it was just me and you. It was me and your baby girl. It was us against the world. And there was nothing, nothing that could ever separate you from my arms. And we kind of danced across my floor. God, I know that you remember the time when I made you this big old pot of Blue's Clues mac and cheese. Because for some reason, I took my Sunday school teacher literally when she told me that you were going to come and want to eat with me. And I knew at that point I wanted nothing more than to eat with you. You should know that I threw a temper tantrum the time that my mother threw it all away. I bet you weren't proud of that. But just know that the fact is I was waiting for you. God, do you remember that time that I slept in my threshold because the same Sunday school teacher told me that you were going to show up at my door and knock and I stayed there for two days waiting for you and you never showed up. And you know what? Three-year-old me was mad. But that's okay. You know, I, I grew and I realized that maybe that day I had opened my heart to something more than what I had bargained for because even though you didn't come walking through that door, you had a home in my heart, dear God. God, I, I remember that time, the first ever time I looked inside of my mirror and I didn't like what I saw. I saw that my reflection had pimples and one of them grew just to the left of my nose and made me look like a bit of a lopsided unicorn and I could have sworn that you did that on perfect, but maybe, maybe you still thought I was worth it to you. Like, it never occurred to me that, that I might have that freckle beneath my lower left eye because right when the sun hits it, at just the right place and at just the right time, it reflects off of my pupils and you can see through them to the windows of my soul and you see something that's beautiful. God, you see something that's worth saving. You see something that you have bought with a price, except the problem was I started doing something that adults call maturing. And I'd like to think that I was growing up, but the problem was I started steering towards all of my adventures and my dreams, and I realized very quickly I thought that in my rear view you were waving away from me, but God, what if you were just asking me to come home? Lord, you were asking me to come back and beckoning me back to the only peace that I have ever known. Look, God, you should know that I miss dancing with you. I miss the times when it was just me and you. I miss the times when we would listen to, like, Taylor Swift and Nickelback and Justin Bieber. And I swear I've got my musical taste back on track. Look, God, I'm now listening to the orchestra of your majesty and of your grace. And, and I want this walk to turn into a race with you. But, God, I want to make more memories with you. God, look. I completely understand if I have done too much to come home, but just know that I finally have realized you are the only peace that I have ever known. So I want to come right back to the start where you're talking to a little girl who made their feet and their socks a work of art and their mind. And yeah, sure, I might have painted that moment on a couple of walls and call myself Picasso. You were kind of thinking Rembrandt, but that's okay. Just know that I am looking forward to defeating more villains with you and saving more heroes. God, I swear I'll be your princess and you will always be my king. Lord, I just would really take a liking to the fact if we could make more memories. There you go.